The Try Me sign is a well-known secret message in the LEGO community. It warns the prospective buyer of the set at hand to grab the box from the very back of the shelf. However, this small yellow arrow is not the first thing one notices about the packaging for this specific set, Toa Kangu Inika, one of the newest Bionicle canister sets. The first thing one notices about Kangu here is how absolutely massive the packaging is. See, this canister looks like it's about twice as wide as one of the original Toa canisters, and it's about the same width. Uh, it absolutely towers over any of the other Bionicle cans to date, and leaves a large, massive area to display the product contained within. Contained within the top of the canister are Kangu's weapons, namely three blue translucent Zamor spheres and a suspiciously blade-like crossbow. The latter is the subject of the Try Me arrow. When one pushes the small black button on the front of the weapon, it begins to light up and flash like a strobe light, initially going very rapidly as you can see here, and then eventually slowing down, and then turning off by itself. I believe the uh, purpose of the tool in the storyline is some sort of laser crossbow that Kongu utilizes. Why one needs a crossbow to launch lasers, I'm not sure, but I'll be sure to ask Chewbacca next time I see him. Now, this view of some of the pieces contained within tantalizes the buyer and makes him want to open the package up and get building. So let's get started. Due to the oblong shape of these canisters, Lego has returned to the pop-top can lids used in the Rakshi and the Vaki. Personally, I prefer the screw-on lids, but had to make do with the shape, I suppose. The Toa Inika sport a plethora of new pieces, such as armor, which on Kongu here is two-toned, new masks, new headpieces, feet, armor, oh, I already mentioned the armor, shoulder armor, new legs, limbs, all sorts of various things, and lots of things in new colors also. In total, I count ten new shapes in Kongu Inika here. Kangu's build time seems to take longer than uh, the usual canister set, but it's nothing particularly daunting, especially for the seasoned Bionicle veteran. Uh, he towers above the other Toa, uh, such as the Metru and the original Toa Olda, as we call them. Uh, and I believe this might be the largest canister set to date, or this line of sets, the Anika. Some things I really like about the set, such as the 13 points of posability, although that's becoming standard, um, the repeating Xamarin Launcher, and the uh, covers for the kneecaps there, uh, that prevent the uh, knee from bending in strange positions. However, there's some things I don't really like. Uh, for example, the loose shoulder armor here, the fact that the repeating Zamo launcher doesn't have a cap to prevent the balls from falling out, and also, probably the thing that bugs me the most, the face that, the fact that uh, when you take his mask off, he doesn't have a face. 
Uh, I know there was a storyline reason given for this, but it still bugs me that the masks aren't really backwards compatible, you would say, with the other heads. Uh, it just seems like a strange design point to me. Uh, that's my biggest gripe about the set, I would say. However, despite these flaws that I find, and any that any others might find, uh, the set definitely has its strong points, and from the, uh, the flashing strobe crossbow here, to the uh, well-deserved upgrade to the Xamarin Launcher and the new masks and pieces. It's definitely worth adding at least one Inika to your collection. I highly recommend this set. One of the better Toa sets to date and uh, it's good. <laughs> anyway, that's really all I have to say about Conquer here. Okay, give him a nice spin so you can see if you're into 60 degrees. And so wraps up my review.